Well, millennial adults are increasingly heading back to class. They're not pursuing a degree, but rather learning essential life skills. Laura Podesta takes us inside a course on adulting. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to cut an onion. At this cooking class in Queens, New York, 29-year-old Elena Tamaris says she's finally learning skills she wishes she'd been taught years ago. I don't know, I was so used to, like, when I was living at home, my mom always cooking and me just doing simple things. And now that I'm on my own, I'm still kind of struggling with it. <laughs> She's not alone. The number of classes geared toward teaching adults how to adult is growing. Rachel Flanger co-founded the aptly named Adulting School in Portland, Maine. This month, she's launching online classes geared toward millennials anywhere who want to know how to sew a button, understand modern art, or tell someone they love them. How to have a relationship, how to talk to somebody, conflict resolution, how not to fight. Experts say millennials are behind because many haven't left childhood homes. The U.S. Census Bureau says in 2015, 34% of Americans between 18 and 34 still lived with a parent. That's compared to just 26% in 2005. It is more common than um, living with roommates and more common than living with a spouse. That translates into young adults marrying later, having children later, and ultimately figuring out those crucial life skills later, too. What's the most surprising question that someone in their late 20s has come to you and asked? I'm always surprised about um, people not knowing what I think are the simple things in terms of knife skills or flavors that may go together. Chef Kim Calicio says she's happy to keep teaching classes to help millennials catch up in the kitchen. Better late than never. Laura Podesta, CBS News, Queens, New York.